Hi, it's Emma Nago. So today I'm doing the haul that I told you guys about, the Paris Hilton, Paris Hilton X Boohoo haul. And let me just say right off the bat, um, Boohoo gotta do better. These pieces are just not it. They just, they're just not hitting the mark. So of course I'm going to go into more detail with each piece. Um, but yeah, Boohoo gotta step that game up um, because these pieces are not popping. And I feel like these last two collections, I did the Boohoo and Pepsi and now Paris Hilton and Boohoo. And I feel like they just don't cater to fat people. Even um, just people that are on the bigger end of the normal um, size uh, scale. It just because that's me I'm a size US 10 and it's just it doesn't work it looks horrible so yeah let's get into it but I just wanted to make that clear right from the start um, Ooh, gotta do better. So the first piece I picked up from the Paris Hilton and Boohoo collaboration is this white dress. This one is actually not terrible. This is one of, um, this is maybe the best piece actually from what I got. It's a nice um, quality. It is a little more heavy, which I like. I got this in a US size 10 and I think it fits uh, great. So I think this is definitely true to size. The cups are not too small. Um, they could have been a little bit better, a little more, um, you know, they could have been a little bit better for my bigger boobs. But overall they're not terrible and they don't make my boobs like spill out of my dress. And I mean the zipper works well, it has the kind of concealed zipper in the back. It has adjustable straps with this kind of lace detailing. It looks very pretty. It does go in at the waist. It is cinched at the waist and it goes out at the hips. And it has um, an underlay. It's not super short. Um, I think it's an okay length. It could have been a little bit longer, but it's not because it has the kind of flared out detailing at the uh, um, at the end of the dress, it doesn't look terrible. That kind of conceals the fact that it is pretty short. The only real con about this is that it is a little bit see-through. Since of course this is all like a lace um, detailing, so that's completely see-through. And this um, fabric underneath is very lightweight, so that is also kind of see-through. So um, you can see my black underwear through this. So um, it's not a huge problem, you just have to be mindful and wear white or nude underwear. And there are no issues with the cups. The cups are padded slightly, so no see-throughness there. So overall this one is pretty good. So next up. This is the biggest disaster of this haul. This makes my titties look like they are as long as a bad year. It's just not flattering whatsoever. I, for some reason, had really high hopes for this. I thought it looked so cute when I got it. I thought it looked so cute on Paris Hilton. Um, I'm in love with the print, the colors. I also like the feeling of um, the dress but the fit is just horrible so there is no support whatsoever in the boob department of this dress so literally my boobs are just hanging loose it just it looks so terrible and there's nothing i can do to make my boobs look better um, because i can't wear any type of bra underneath it because of the way it's cut i can't wear a stick on bra I can't wear a strapless bra, I can do nothing. And also the cut is extremely deep, so you will most likely have a nip slip at, at some point if you're wearing this out. So I would say this is definitely best for um, people with smaller boobs. And I would also use some fashion tape to hold it in place because I think it's kind of risky. Also these straps 
um, are not adjustable they are super skinny as you can see so they just they don't give any support whatsoever and you can't um, adjust them to lift up um, the boobs or anything <laughs> it's just it's really not for big chested women and also this as you can see this um, overlay is sheer and underneath it you have the white body and it is a thong which I think is rather risque. The thong body is just it's so tiny um, you can't even wear shapewear underneath it because it's cut in such a way it's cut really just there's not a lot of fabric so I can't wear my shapewear underneath it you can see the shapewear it's not a cute look and it's also white it's very lightweight it's super see-through so I would say you have to be very skinny and have a very very nice body um, to be able to pull this off um, one good thing I will say about this dress is I like the length it goes all the way down and touches the floor on me I am 5 foot 10 so that's nice to see in a maxi dress that it's actually super long um, but the body um, underneath this overlay is kind of short so I really have to stretch it to make it fit from uh, my crotch to my shoulders so that makes no sense to me so yeah this piece is just annoying and I don't I don't even know what to say it's just a big no So next up we have the yellow maxi dress. It's kind of hard to see because um, the straps cross. So this is what it looks like. So you can see it has the sheer overlay and then the body underneath it. This one is better than the previous one, but it is, it's not good. So this body is like a full bottom body. So it has a lot more coverage and you can wear shapewear underneath it. Again, it's very sheer, so I would definitely wear something nude that matches your skin tone. And I do really like the overlay. I think it's a stunning color, and I love the ruffles, and I love the side split. I think it's gorgeous. But um, the body underneath it, it has to be thicker. It has to be more opaque. This, super, this is super sheer and see-through. Over the bust, you have um, the overlay, one layer of the overlay, and then one layer of regular fabric. And it's so sheer and so lightweight. You can see everything through it. Um, I tried wearing a stick-on bra. You could totally see it. It looked so just obvious and not cute. I tried wearing pasties underneath it. You could see that. And because it is low in the back, you can't wear a strapless bra with it. So I chose to go without a bra underneath it. Um, but again, it's super see-through and the straps are not adjustable, so it doesn't give a lot of support at all. This is better for someone with smaller boobs um, and somebody who is very confident in their own body because um, you can't really hide anything underneath this. You can't hide any rolls, you can't hide nipples, you can't hide anything. So while I like this one a little bit better, again this is a no. So next up is another mini dress and this one is uh, one of the better items. So this uh, dress is also only lined once but because it is um, the color that it is because it is a darker color um, it's not see-through and um, it has a double layer at the bust and it also has straps that are a bit tighter so um, I can wear this without a bra and it fits well and I like the lift that it gives Oh yeah, by the way, I totally forgot to tell you, but I got every every single thing in a size US 10. And yeah, this one is true to size, and it's definitely one of the better items. I like the ring detailing um, right here. I don't really understand the obsession with crossing straps. They all have um, crossing straps. I think they're kind of a pain in the ass, but I don't know, maybe it's like the new trend. 
but yeah anyways this one is not terrible at all um, it's a mini dress and it is um, a pretty good length actually but it does have a split which makes it a lot less wearable if you are tall because the chance of showing everything down there is just quite big. I do like the kind of twisted look that the split has um, and I think if you are a bit shorter than me this would be really really cute even if you are a size US 10 or if you have big boobs I think this is good um, so yeah the only thing I really don't like about this is the high splits So last up we have um, these two pieces, um, these are sold separately but Paris Hilton was modeling them together in the promotion pictures. So I got them together and as I, as I said both of these are in a size 10, everything is in a size 10. And unfortunately here we are moving back to more bullshit like this. I'm not sure if it's a swimsuit or a bodysuit because it says beach on the tag but it's called a bodysuit. It feels kind of like a swimsuit. Either way, this is pretty horrible. This is so short. I can get it on but it kind of gives me a wedgie and it does, it looks not cute. Like it doesn't look good even though I can get it on. And again, it's kind of sheer and see-through, so I don't know if I would want to go swimming in this. I think when it got when it will get wet, it would be super see-through. I mean, I do like um, the little rhinestones that spell out that's hot. I think that's cute, but I just can't get on board with it. It does nothing good for my body, and it just it flattens my boobs and makes them look awful. So this is again definitely for a skinnier and shorter person. And then the cropped hoodie. This one is not terrible terrible, but it is still kind of terrible. Again this is sheer, it's sheer as hell, like I don't understand why they wouldn't use some more luxe fabrics for this collection since it is with Paris Hilton and it is one of the collections that you cannot use a coupon on at least not um, in the European store, online store you can't use coupons so I bought everything full price and it's just, it's not what I was expecting um, it doesn't have a very nice feeling, it feels kind of rough and again this is extremely short like this barely covers my boobs it kind of rises up in the back <sighs> like I don't I don't even know what to say anymore the arms again I don't usually have this problem but again the the arms on this boohoo clothing item is it's kind of tight I had that same problem with some of the um, tops that I tried on in my last boohoo haul the one with the Pepsi collection so I don't know, I just, it's not this collection and the previous one, I just don't feel like it's catering to tall, plus size, big chested women, I just, no. So yeah, that is my haul, kind of my review of um, these six items that I picked up from the Paris Hilton X Boohoo collaboration. I am very underwhelmed. Um, I don't I don't really know what to say. I just I don't feel like this is catering to me um, and my body type and I'm just not with it. I'm not with the shits. Anyways if your body is opposite of mine then you might really like um, these pieces. In my last video I had somebody comment that they were a size, I believe a US size 2 and they tried out some of the pieces that I didn't like and they had very good luck with them. Um, so if you are um, shorter, skinnier, um, 
less like your cup size is less than mine then I think you would like these pieces a lot better than I do but if your body type is anything like mine I would stay away from pretty much all of it so yeah this has put me kind of off off of um, Boohoo I'm not you know super hyped about any collaboration they might come out with in the future um, but I mean I hope they step up their game for um, the bigger sizes but anyways please let me know what you guys think how did you guys view the items did you see the, things, the same things that I'm seeing like do you have the same opinion as mine or do you think it's actually not that bad I don't know maybe I'm just like super negative but I definitely I mean I feel like these are just not good items also if you have tried out anything from this co collection Please let me know how you like it, I would love to know. And yeah, that's pretty much it, so uh, <laughs> please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video, so take care and bye!